Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my university work. I study graphic design. I used to study photography. If you have been subscribed and following me for a while, you would know that I did photography for two years at uni. And I switched to graphic design. It was requested for me to share my design work, my design portfolio. So that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. A lot of people ask me why I switched uni courses. I switched because I didn't like photography and I didn't want to be a photographer, basically. So it kind of made sense to switch. I switched to graphics and it is the best decision I've ever made. I love my course so much. A lot of people ask what I studied at school for A levels slash hires. I I live in Scotland, so we did hires here, and I did four hires. My school only had like standard subjects, like really basic, like maths, English. We didn't have like a graphic design or photography a subject at school. It was just art and design. So I did art and design, English, religious and moral philosophical studies, and biology. They were my four hires and basically to get into my university they'll just say you need like an A and three B's with one subject being art design. I get a lot of questions on what laptops and tablets and everything I use. I have a 13 inch MacBook Pro. I've had it since like 2013 so it's kind of falling apart now but it does the job. And I have an iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil. That's basically what I use. I use my iPad as like a graphics tablet. I have just completed my first year of graphic design. I'm doing a Bachelor of Design in graphic design. It's This is my first year work. I'm not gonna be showing you like every single thing because that would take like a million years. I'm just gonna show you what I have. A lot of it is like submitted and like at my university right now because I've just finished my first year. And a lot of it is done digitally, so I don't have physical things of everything. One of my classes, we were basically given an assignment every week of like something we had to do. Like our first assignment was a 16 by 16 pixel portrait. We had to make a wall mural. We had to make a self portrait. We also had to get most of these printed off every week. This was my self portrait. We had to make mood boards for posters on like the theme of science, travel or something like that, don't really remember. And then garden. And then we had to use these mood boards to make posters. My science one was a science festival, like travel festival, just like, you know, things like that. You get the gist. That class was basically like, teaching us how to use like all the software and everything that we need to use and we just got like little assignments and then at the end we had to submit like a big sketchbook with all our research and development and everything. We basically had to make a poster a day for 50 days. That was like one of the main uh, projects that we were given. Also, I literally have like a billion sketchbooks. Like. There's also sketchbooks inside of these sketchbooks. I also have a load of PDF sketchbooks, like you don't even have physical copies of them. So yes, sketchbooks, <laughs> you have loads of them. I had to make a poster a day for 50 days. I will show you my sketchbook first. But yeah, I just had a load of things written all over the place. Not the best sketchbook loads of development of ideas like a lot of development of ideas it's research so we basically had to make a poster a day for 50 days it had to have our name the number of the poster the theme the date and you know just like basic information not all these posters are good at all that's what happens when you make a poster a day for 50 days so that was my first one number two this is number four Five. I actually have this one up on my wall. It's just a little bee. Power was the next week's theme. This is my favorite poster that I made. My ninth poster. It's Kanye West. Yeah. Power Rangers one. Declarations of human rights or something like that. I don't really remember. Illustrations were the main part of my posters, as you can probably tell. And I did all these illustrations on my iPad. 
The poster number 15 out of 50. <laughs> this is number 16. I was also watching loads of Law & Order while I was making these posters. That's the show I was binge watching. This was actually one of my lecturer's favourites, but I don't actually like it. Um, took me two seconds to make. And the theme was aphorisms. So this is one I made and uh, cut things out, as you can see. Then it went on to film, my favourite week. So I basically just made posters of like my favourite films. And then we went on to music, so I basically did some of my favourite artists. I actually really like this one. And then we had to take a poster and redo it five times. I did Ferris Bueller's Day Off using the same quote. And then we had to do elements of graphic design. So this one was space. This was line, type, perspective. Our last five posters were what we learnt from this. That was a big project. And then for that class, as well as like group projects and things we had to do, we had to make a zine. So basically it's like a mini magazine. Basically given designers or pieces of design and was told to make a zine of it. But the thing with the zine is it had to be 12 pages long. It basically had to be three A3 pages folded down to make 12 pages of a book and you had to use the inside pages as well. I made like a million prototypes. There's two there. There's another one here and another one here and another one here. So you're making a load of stuff. This is my sketchbook for it ideas of my designs, and then prototypes, experimentation, ideas. So I basically got Andy Warhol and his famous banana, you know, um, the recycling logo, and then this Ken Mickey mountain snow thing I don't actually know how to pronounce. My final zine ended up like this. The A is for archive, it's the title of my zine. And on the back cover is just the uh, uh, banana, the snow, and the recycling symbol. And then it has the link to um, our archive, which is where all the designers and essays and stuff were. That's the first page. You open it up, I've got my banana and the design, which is like 3D. This is actually the mountain, but all you can see is the recycling image. There's some text in this. So this is some extracts from the essays about the pieces of design. That was my zine. Then we basically had to make a branded walk. You had to make a map and a brochure and things like that on a route of the city of your choice and you had to make like a brand and a logo and a colour scheme and all that for it and then packaging, designing your packaging, prototypes of your packaging, that's my packaging falling out. So more sketchbooks and more work. This was mine, it's like a little... I don't know why it's not going all the way to the bottom, but it's like a, a little wallet folder thing and in it you get a map of the route. So this is the map that I designed. Little hot spots on it of places where you can take nice photographs, um, places where you can get food and drink and also places of interest in history. So. That's my little map. And then this is the brochure about my company and the walk itself. So it's double-sided. That's just like the three main stops on the walk that you can go and visit and information about that and some pictures. And then on the other side is 
free vouchers or coupons for free drinks on places on the map that you can go visit and then a little breakdown on what the key this is like the key for the map and some information about it that was a project we had and then we also had to make a cake stand a cake company and make cakes and sell them at university so we did that and then we had to redesign a whole novel so she the, our lecturer gave us like four or three options for books i picked alice of wonderland this was my final front and back cover i handed it in so i haven't got it physically with me but this is what my cover looked like. Also had to redesign the old, the entire inside of it. So like the whole novel basically. So this is what the design for the inside of the novel looked like. These are just some extracts. We had to fill a sketchbook full of sketches. We just had to fill sketchbooks with sketches and hand that in. I'll, we're just supposed to be sketching like every day. So did that and we also had to submit a typographic sketchbook just of typography which I featured in another video of mine and that's also handed in so I haven't got it with me so I can't show you. And then the final assignment I had was to make a magazine and I made a magazine. Um, our magazine is called Hyperlink, everyone in the class has the same like layout for the front as a class we all decided how we were going to do it, um, same back, so everyone just has a different issue number of the magazine. So I'm issue 23 and the colour I was given was green, everyone has a different colour and it looks like a rainbow and it's really cool. And we were randomly generated a Wikipedia um, article and from that we just had to keep clicking random hyperlinks to make up the body of our magazine, like the text and topics, and then we just had to sign everything. So this is my magazine. So my randomly generated article was Goddess of Marriage, Korean romantic comedy drama series. And then from that it went to romantic comedy film, and then to film. I like this spread. You get the gist of it. Like, a lot of this is not good, but a lot of it is also nice. My magazine is also handed in, but um, I ordered a second copy for it myself to keep, so. It's quite cool. I actually made a magazine. And the magazine had to be 60 to 80 pages long. And that's pretty much the majority of my work from my first year of university doing graphic design. So I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.